Hey guys, so I've been dreading making this video and if you can tell by the title what it's about, but um, I'm gonna try to make this quick and probably not even edit this video. So I just felt like I didn't wanna leave you guys like um, not knowing or like not saying anything or just like throwing it into a vlog. It would feel funny to not like sit down and explain or just tell you guys because I feel like you guys have really been a part of our life obviously and River's been including that in, in all of it but River has passed away. I'm in Piper's room because my niece and my nephew are here. My nephew's sleeping and everyone else is being really loud. So again, I'm going to try not to edit this, but if I get interrupted, I'll probably have to edit. Um, so yeah, we got, Chris and I got River when we were still dating and um, 12 years ago, right after we graduated college. So he was born on December 25th. Christmas Day in 2008 and so in 2009 February we got him and we've had him ever since we got him when he was a baby puppy um, so a lot of you guys especially on my cleaning the chaos channel which I'll probably not make a video for that channel but um, you guys are always commenting about River, and um, again, all of you guys that have been here from the beginning know that River's a really big part of our life. Um, I know we don't vlog very often over here, and so you don't get to see him as much, or you didn't get to see him as much, because um, before when we did like daily vlogs and stuff, he was a part of our life, so he was in a lot of the videos. But especially the cleaning videos, you would see him like following me around and stuff and just kind of wanting to be with us all the time. And obviously we've shared our struggles in the last six months with him. So back in February, he kind of went downhill really fast. We took him to the doctor or the vet and they said that he had cancer. So we did a surgery to get the cancer out. But after they did a biopsy of the, the mass that was um, in him, um, he was also like bleeding in his belly and everything, so they fixed him all up and then we got a call saying that they got it all out, but the ty type of cancer that it was, he probably only had one more month to live because it was a very aggressive cancer. So, um, especially over on Instagram, we've been like posting about him and everything and for a while he was doing really good. He passed that one month mark, then he passed the two month mark, three month mark. And he was acting pretty normal. He was acting kind of like an old dog. He would have been 12 this year. So he was about 11 and a half years old. Um, so he was acting old, obviously. But everything else, he was acting pretty normal. And then um, a few days ago, so like in the middle of last week, he stopped eating. And the vet did say that that would be one of the symptoms that his cancer was back. I also shared with you guys in a recent video that he had laryngeal paralysis, which is like the panting and like trouble breathing. Um, so he had that as well. So we weren't sure if it was the cancer that was back or if the laryngeal paralysis or maybe he was just sick. I don't know. So we gave it a few days. He would eat um, like out of our hand, like eggs or chicken but not very much and then he definitely wasn't eating any of his dog food so obviously we were worried so then on um friday so today is monday that i'm filming this on friday we decided to take him in to the vet honestly we were worried because we knew that if we took him in there was a chance for them to tell us that the cancer was back or something terrible was wrong and so we were trying to put it off but at the same time, we knew he needed to go in because he couldn't not eat. He was drinking fine. Um, so, and then he started acting really lethargic. He could hardly like go up the stairs. He was just acting really funny, but we kept saying like, well, he's not eating. So he probably has no energy, which is why he can't get up the stairs and all that. So, oh, another thing he would like try to lay down and he would get like halfway down and then get back up and then try again to lay down, get half down, and then get back up. So he was like uncomfortable. So I went and took Jane and Piper with me to the dance studio to teach my dance class on Friday afternoon. And Chris took River and Jackson to the vet. And because of coronavirus, we can't go into the vet's office. So Chris just waited outside. And then they told him that they were gonna do an ultrasound to see if the cancer had come back. 
And so Chris came over to the dance studio and we were all there together after my class, just kind of waiting. Um, they were literally like down the road from each other, the vet and the dance studio. And then we got the call that his cancer had come back and it had come back with a vengeance basically and kind of taken all over in his body. And he had a lot of blood in his belly again. They did say before the ultrasound that he looked really pale and that if he was just sick, they were gonna take us somewhere to get a blood transfusion. And now we know that he was pale because he was losing blood. Um, we just didn't know because we can't see in his belly obviously, but he was losing blood leaking into his belly. I'm not sure why or how that happens with the cancer, but that was happening. And they said that's probably why he wasn't eating because his belly was full of blood. And that's why he couldn't hardly lay down. And he was just like really uncomfortable. So we didn't really have a choice after that because we knew that this was coming. Obviously we thought we only had one month, but he gave us six months. And um, we decided not to do chemo back when we knew that this was a thing. And so we knew this day was coming. Um, we went back and forth whether to bring him home on Friday night and um, have the kids like play, hang out with him and be with him and we would cuddle him. And the main things we would want to do with him would be to play fetch, which he couldn't do because he was so lethargic and feed him pizza because his favorite food and he couldn't he wouldn't have done that either and when we ended up telling the kids Jane had a very very bad reaction she could not stop sobbing and when I say sobbing I honestly thought she was gonna throw up at some point she was crying so hard when our other dog Hannah passed away she was only three years old and Jackson was one and Piper wasn't born yet and I don't think she really understood so she still talks about Hannah but I don't think she really remembers too much she kind of just sees pictures and stuff so we knew at that point um, also my dad hasn't been feeling great and so um, we were like maybe we can bring him home and everyone can come over like my brothers could come over um, and say goodbye but um, we knew at that point when Jane was having that reaction that it was just, we just needed to do it then. Since they don't let anybody inside the vet, they were gonna let Chris and I in to put him down, but they weren't gonna let the kids in. One, because of coronavirus, and two, they just don't recommend kids being in the room anyways, and we wouldn't have had them in the room. I remember when we put Hannah down, like I said, Jane was three and Jackson was one, and they just colored in the waiting room, and the people at the front desk watched them. Um, so I had to call my mom and my mom came over and they brought River outside and we went under a little tree and said our goodbyes to him and Jane was uncontrollably sobbing and Jackson and Piper, I don't think they really got it. They were kind of just, we kept telling him to give him a hug and we, he, we weren't going to see him ever again and Piper cried for a minute and then Jackson kept saying, stop talking about it guys, it's making me sad. So then at some point we just had to had to do it so we followed the vet back inside chris and i and left the kids outside with my mom and we put them down and it was hard if you ever ever had to put a pet down you know how hard it is um i'm not really going into details of that but it was very hard so um yeah so his cancer came back. Honestly, after reading about the laryngeal paralysis and how traumatizing that can be, I'm, I don't wanna say I'm glad that it was the cancer, but we know why he was panting. It might not have been the laryngeal paralysis. He might've been panting because he was in pain. And we knew that dogs don't wanna show you that they're in pain. They, they're trying their best to like mask their pain in front of you and they want you to like please you and so we know that the pain that he was showing us was only like a minimal amount of pain that he actually was in so um yeah uh so that was difficult and um then we went out of town we were going to go out of town on friday night that was our original plan but after that we weren't 
we were just ready to go to bed at that point. So we went to bed and then on Saturday morning, it was really hard waking up without him, but we packed up and we left and we only went 45 minutes away to um, Chris's family's beach house. And um, if you guys watch us, we go there a lot and just hung out for the weekend. And we were really sad, honestly, we were really sad. And we talked about River pretty much the entire time we were there, but it was okay. It was, it was, um, it was fine. Then we came home last night and I mentioned it on Instagram if you follow me there, but it sucked to be here and it still sucks to be here, to be honest. Here we are on Monday and I don't want to be here. I love my house. I'm a homebody. If I, I'm an introverted homebody, like I want to be home usually. And I walked in, I did not think this would happen, but I walked in to the house and I just started crying. And it wasn't because he didn't greet me because honestly he hasn't greeted us at the door for a while just because he's old. And it wasn't that, it was just like empty. Like I've, I've heard people say like for one reason or another, like, oh, I feel empty or like, yeah, I just feel empty. And I've never, I guess I've never really felt that way until yesterday when I walked into the house. I was like, oh, I felt like hollow or something. And it was just sad. So I feel like, um, and again, I mentioned this on Instagram, but I feel like this has been worse for us. One, because we had River a lot longer than we had Hannah. Hannah was six years old when she passed away and her and River were only six months apart in age. So they were like best buddies. And Hannah obviously was hard. That was the first time Chris or I had ever put a pet down. It was very traumatic. Um, but, and it happened like really fast. Like one day she was healthy, the next day she was done. Like she wasn't walking or anything, it was crazy. And I actually vlogged that day. I will say, um, for a split second on Friday, I was gonna bring the camera out to kind of document his last day or like when we were under the tree. But the way Jane was crying and um, I just wanted it to kind of just be us, I decided not to and I was, like, oh, I feel kind of bad because we kind of documented Hannah's situation a little bit. We did a little bit. Um, and now we're not with River, but our lives have are different. It's been four years and we uh, don't vlog as much as we used to. And so if we were daily vlogging or something, obviously we wouldn't have hit it. But we don't vlog as much and so we weren't vlogging that day and I just decided not to do that. That's why I'm making this video just to kind of explain it. But with her, um, when I came home, we still had River. We still had a puppy. We still had a dog to love on. And of course we missed her terribly, but and it was kind of sad because you can kind of tell that River was sad, but it wasn't as bad because we still had a pet to take care of. And then um, Piper was actually born three days later. So, we only really had three days or two and a half days to really grieve that before we had to go to the hospital, have Piper and then bring a newborn home. And then your life has changed anyways with that. So it was like kind of like a whirlwind experience and it wasn't really, we didn't really have time to grieve to be honest. So this has been a lot different and it's only been three days, but now we don't even, for the first time in 12 years, we don't have a pet. We don't have a dog. Um, even like the bolt, their dog his dog bowls are here we have dog food i don't know what to do with like this didn't happen last time you know like i don't wake up and have to take a dog out to go to the bathroom and feed them breakfast in the morning it's very different we still had that after hannah passed away you know so that's been interesting also august 14th that was friday when we had to put down river is also the anniversary of when chris proposed to me so it was a special day um, he had proposed to me 10 years ago and, um, so now the date is kind of like happy and sad. Um, so that was another thing that was kind of like, hmm, wish it was a different day, but it's okay. It happens. So that's it. Like I said, I kind of wanted this to be short and I feel like I'm rambling on. There's so much I could say about River. Um, and I kind of wanted Chris to be in this video, 
but two things one we were gone this weekend and chris is working hard today he has a lot of work to do so i couldn't get him to sit down with me and i kind of wanted to put this video out before any other video went up and two he's having a really hard time um river we we always joked that river was his dog because river would follow him everywhere you guys thought the river followed me a lot when i did the cleaning videos but he really just wanted to be where Chris was. So you know, you guys know that Chris works from home. He always wanted to be in the office with Chris. He would just sleep in the office all day long. If Chris came out to go to the bathroom, he'd follow him to the bathroom and sit there while Chris went to the bathroom and then came back. Then he would follow Chris to the kitchen and he would follow Chris outside to get a drink from the refrigerator outside. Um, he was Chris's hunting buddy. And so that's, really hard for him too especially today today's been the first working day of him having to be in the office without river so i don't think he would have much else to say than what i'm saying so um yeah maybe we'll talk about it a little more in a vlog coming up you guys can get like what the kids think and chris will say a few things maybe but i just wanted to come on here to let you guys know i didn't want to just not say anything because I know a lot of you guys love River, and um, we really appreciate your support, especially the last few days on Instagram. I've gotten so many messages, so many kind messages, and you guys are just amazing. So that's it. Um, our buddy's gone, and we're sad, and we miss him. And it's going to be hard for the next few weeks. But hang in there with us. We have a lot going on. Um, and we're just doing our best. So thank you guys for your support. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.